our hardware and loop lab. Uh, I'm Tom G. I'm manager of our hybrid controls and strategy implementation group. I want to talk to you today uh, a little bit about our control system and some of the tools that we use to develop the system. Um, I'll start out with uh, a little bit of an overview of conventional vehicle control. So conventional powertrain control systems typically consist of engine and transmission control. Uh, that have a primary function of delivering smooth drivability, emission control, and powertrain diagnostics. They also provide some basic driver information such as engine speed, engine temperature, uh, and vehicle speed. Unlike uh, most conventional powertrain control systems, our electrified vehicle control systems are distributed across multiple modules. In addition to our engine and transmission controllers, uh, there are the inverter system controller, the battery electronics control module, we've got an ABS uh, control module, we've got a DC DC controller, our instrument uh, cluster and driver information controller, as well as our climate control module. There's also a host of other body control modules that are part of our vehicle control system. Our vehicle control system is distributed. <coughs> between these modules and utilizes uh, high-speed uh, controller area network communications uh, that allows them to communicate and work as a single system. Uh, Ford has more than 400 uh, patents on our electrified vehicles. About 141 of those are vehicle system control related. Some of the major functions that the uh, electrified vehicle control provides are the Optimal, are to optimize energy efficiency. So total, total system efficiency is more than just uh, <clears throat> running the engine at its most efficient uh, operating point. Electric motors, uh, torque, speed, and electric voltage or voltage level affect the efficiency of converting electrical energy to mechanical power and vice versa. Additionally, high voltage battery charge and discharge power Voltage and temperature affect how efficiently electrical energy can be converted to chemical energy and then back again. <coughs> Electrified vehicle control even uh, considers the most efficient way to charge and maintain the 12 volt battery system. We call this system level approach our system optimal energy efficiency strategy. Another function the control system delivers is smooth engine stop-start transition. The system will consider the driver's power demand, energy system demands, as well as ambient conditions, and make the determination of how to start the engine. Sometimes engine uh, is targeted to have a smooth, seamless start. Other times the engine must deliver high power as quickly as possible. Coordinated regenerative and friction braking is another function. Our electrified vehicle controls uses a series regenerative braking system, meaning that the electric motor is used to recoup 100% of braking energy up to a maximum power level. Then the friction brakes are brought on to handle additional braking needs. At very low speeds, friction brakes are used to hold the vehicle at the stop. So the transition between motor torque stopping the vehicle and friction brake stopping the vehicle uh, needs to be well coordinated uh, to ensure a smooth, seamless uh, brake field. Driver information and coaching is, a, is another uh, attribute of our control system. So how a driver operates uh, a vehicle can have significant impact on energy efficiency. While this is true of any vehicle, it's particularly true for electrified vehicles. As I mentioned, our braking system uh, can recuperate 100% of braking energy up to a certain power level. So this means that, that late hard braking or quick brake pedal stabs will, in, will decrease the energy efficiency. For this reason, we provide uh, feedback and coaching to the driver to help them improve their driving style uh, for energy efficiency. There are a host of other functions electrified vehicles control system provides, and when it comes right down to it, 
energy efficiency in a smooth, seamless operating package is fun to drive as the overall goal. By now you've probably gathered that the control system is complex and distributed across the vehicle. So you can imagine developing and ensuring that the system is doing what it's supposed to is difficult uh, and time consuming. To help make this task manageable, we make use of a hardware in a loop uh, system or hill system. The hill system delivers, uh, <clears throat> sorry, the hill system allows us to focus on testing a single module or a couple of modules while the rest of the vehicle systems are simulated uh, in a computer environment. We have three different types of hill benches in this particular lab. We've got our hybrid powertrain control module hill over here. Over here we've got our motor generator control unit hill. And in that corner of the lab we have our battery electric uh, control module and battery simulator hill. The, uh, in other buildings, we have other types of hills. We have a, a brake system control module hill. Uh, there's a climate control hill, uh, as well as 